back today with another grocery haul for you. I went to Woolworths again this week, but a different Woolworths to normal. And then I went to a fruit and veggie shop that's near. That's just experimenting. Next time I'm back to my normal Woolworths, I think. But I did pick up a few things I haven't seen there. So might worth an occasional trip somewhere else. Anyway, I'll show you the fridge and freezer stuff first. With fridge stuff, I um, they don't seem to sell the coolers that I really, really liked and would water down to make up a drink for myself. So I tried this one, doing the same thing. I make it like a quarter of that and three quarters water. It's um, got less sugar, so that's good. So that was an okay replacement. I don't like it as much, but it's um, better than soft drink. I was starting to drink a bit too much soft drink. Milk for the family. Cream for the family. Hummus for me. <laughs> I know I can make one, but it's just handy to have one in, in the fridge, and that's a really nice one. And it's really, ingredients are really good, and that's probably the best one besides the one I make myself. Uh, coconut chia pod and a mango chia pod for Kevin. These are expensive, but he likes them. And Kevin's trying to cut down his sugar a lot, so I'm trying to get him some snacks, <laughs> some things that he can have to replace, like his you know sweet treat and things. These were the things I found that I can't occasionally my boys will have them and then they go away again so I don't know but I've got sesame falafel and these are the ones I've, I'm sure I like these they come different varieties sometimes but this is a curried pumpkin and corn and I'll since I can't get my dookie bean patties that I really like the Sindian ones these are good the ingredients are pretty good there is um vegetable oil and yeast extract in them but besides that they are you know just chickpeas and vegetables so have them. I probably should have picked up, I should have probably grabbed two packets of that, but it, the, yeah, I probably should have grabbed two packets of that, but anyway, I didn't. I got some cheese for the weekend. Um, as I said, Kevin, I didn't like buy any sort of sugary things today, so no chocolate, no biscuits, no lollies. So I thought I'd get some cheese and we can have some cheese and crackers for an afternoon snack. Ham to have in, and then I've got a few things for the kids because. If they don't come this weekend, I don't know. If not, the use-by dates were a few weeks, so they can go into the fridge for later. The macaroni and cheese for Christy. I she made it last night myself at home, but anyway, that will be an emergency one. And the soup, so expensive to buy them, and I can make both of these myself very, very easily, but just gives her a single serve, so that's good. And the butter chicken I got for Athena. She put one last time we went away and didn't eat it, and Kevin actually had it last night, and he said it was really nice, so I'll grab one for Athena to have. Again, they've last what they've got, you know, so what's say day the I don't know what day it is, but it's about two and a half weeks probably. The they did have the pumpkin pasta that we really like. Um our local Woolworths doesn't sell that one. And I've got the, that one they do sell. I really like that one, I think really likes that one, and they're nice for a change. And then frozen, I did a bit of a stock up as you can see. So I've got these fillets, soy fillets and snitchels that Thena really likes. Not burgers, the vegetarian sausages. These are the best vegan, they're actually vegan sausages they have. And I've got some little nuggets as well, which are also vegan. So I don't eat a lot of this stuff, but it's nice to have. And we're going to do barbecue sausages on Saturday night when we're away. So that is the fridge and freezer stuff. Okay, so we also got some bird food, budgie food. Different um, bags, I need some sandwich bags. I couldn't get the ones I wanted, which were the stand up and open bags. So I just got these medium ones and then I got some freezer ones because it's out of those. Got some uh, the evaporated skim milk. I have that, I use that in um, the corn quiche that I make. Some juices for Christy and I thought I might stick some in the motorhome, although if they come away. Um, some free range eggs, I always get the organic free range eggs. Got a, these for Kevin. He's had these before and he seems to quite like them. So he likes banana stuff too. I thought I'd get the banana ones to try as well. Got some peanut butter. Oh, it's crunchy. I didn't realize that. That's for a recipe. I can't remember what I'm making with that now. But anyway, I've got a natural peanut butter. It's 100% peanuts. Uh, salsa. Another mayonnaise. We like that one with the free range eggs. Dijon mustard. Because I just, one we had in the fridge had expired. Don't use it very often. Teriyaki sauce, it was also expired and nearly out. Two of the Bonsoy milks. I got a little tray to put into the motorhome, a little ice cube tray. And just some new containers because we seem to have gone through a lot at the minute. Um, got these 
mangoes in juice and peaches in juice to have for Kevin's lunches, so snacks. Two tins of the sliced beetroot, um, bag of cashews, some lavash bites to have with that cheese. <laughs> Two packets of corn thins. I've been having a lot of these with just hummus or hummus and tomato on top. Really yummy. Then some barbecue corn chips to take away this weekend. And some spinach wraps because we go through a lot of them because the kids love them. And then I got these to put in the motorhome for some tea. So I thought I love English breakfast tea. And I don't know what the golden tipped part is. But I thought it sounded nice. But quite fancy. So <laughs> I thought I would... um have them for the motorhome. Okay, and finally I've got my fruit and veggies. Got a funny vibrate thing going on. Okay, so there's some strawberries, some corn, um, some kiwi fruit, capsicum, sweet potato, potato, full watermelon, mushrooms, tiny tomatoes, big tomatoes, rockmelon, grapes, they're still from the USA, so. Oranges, some beans for paella that I'm making this week, a couple of zucchinis, what are they, bananas? <laughs> and then for bread I've got some also from cold, I've got some turkey rolls with garlic and some cheese sticks for Christy. So that's my haul, if you've got any questions about anything just ask below. Okay, bye.